Another one of the mixed methods functions that's available to you is the cross tabs. And you'll see it in the mixed methods drop down menu. Right now it's grayed out. And the reason for that is that you must first activate codes in your code system. So basically what the cross tabs is going to do is it's going to count how often each code is used in documents that have certain variable values. So to stick with the same exa example we used in some of the other functions, we're going to separate how often men talked about certain aspects in our interview guide topics compared to how often women talked about them. So let's start by activating those guide topics. And I'll do that by right-clicking and choosing Activate, or by holding Control and clicking. So once they're red, I know they're activated. And I can now go up to the Mixed Methods drop-down menu, and you'll see that the Cross Tabs uh, option is no longer grayed out. So when I click on that, I need to enter the formulas. So I'll reset them so we can go through this again. So in the first column, I want a formula that says gender equals female. So we're going to be counting how many times each of these interview guide topics appears in documents, in this case interviews with women. And I'm going to create another one where gender is equal to male. So we'll have two different columns to compare. So I go ahead and click on OK. And this is what the cross tabs looks like. So in the first column we have women, then men, and then the sum. So we can see the code health, for example, shows up seven times in documents that represent interviews with women, and nine times with men. Uh, you can see also relationships came up more often in interviews with women. Work issues also came up more often in interviews with women. And we have all sorts of options here at the top. We can export to Excel. We can also export uh, here to Excel or to TXT or CSV. We can also take a snapshot, so that would be pretty much saving a copy of this picture here as a PNG file. We can go directly from cross tabs to the quote matrix. So we would have a quote matrix with what women said about each of these topics in one column and what men said about those topics in the second column. We can choose to go to uh, only counting documents, which would mean, okay, there are seven instances of the health code in interviews with women, but theoretically all seven of those could have been in a single document, in a single interview. If we click to only count documents, we see, however, that there are five interviews with women that include the health code. It's a good way to kind of test to make sure not all of those instances of a code were in a single document. You also have the option here of showing the row percentage or column percentages. You also can refresh your cross tabs. If while it's still open, you've gone through and done some coding in your documents, you may want to be able to refresh. And then, of course, you have the white eye in the blue circle, which will take you to the part of the uh, manual that will explain all about what this different, uh, what, what all the different cross tab functions do. And then you have the running man to close the cross tabs function. Once again, as with all visualizations, you have a live connection to the data. So if you want to see those three instances where uh, a male person you interviewed talked about overall life satisfaction, you just have to double click on the three and they'll all be retrieved. Or you want to see the 21 instances that female interviewees talked about relationships. Double click, they're all there. So that's the cross tabs. Thank you.